Dogs have got something. I think they got him. Right, guys. I've just whacked myself a baboon. And this is the track. Okay. See, come we go, find it. Find it. And you went from here. There's a small amount of blood there. Rocky's got the track. Come on, Axel. I'm going to my dad. Nin the cars. And he went through here. Kalas, Kalas! Rocky's on the track. I think he's got the baboon. Catch him, boy! Catch him, boy! And Axel's got him. Hey, so put me up in. What's Kale? Is Kale's a figure for my dad? Good boy, Rocky! Tata! Tata! Catch him, boy! Where is he? Crazy boy! Ha ha! XO! We're on the trail of a big male baboon. Dogs have chased him down here, but Rocky being a young dog, never chased anything before. And they've bayed him twice already, but they keep coming back to fetch me. But the good thing is when you're training a young dog, is to notice when he comes back, he'll always follow his track back to you. And go and look where he came past because he'll be signed. If he's on the right track, he'll come straight back past the blood. So we'll see if we can catch up to this guy. Dogs have got something. I think they got him. Good boys! Good boys! Good boys! Catch him! Catch him! Catch him! Can you still up? That's how you train a young dog. I think he's playing dead. Good boys! Well done, Axel! As you guys can hear, I'm very out of breath. But super, super proud of these two dogs. Rocky was the first one to take the track and bay him. And then Axel helped out. And then when Rocky was lacking a bit of confidence, he kept running back on the track to fetch me while I was trying to catch up. But Axel just put his nose on the ground and he just f***ing tripped all way along. Super, super impressed with these two little dogs. Well done, boys. Right, morning, guys. As you can see in front of me, I've got a monster of a baboon that's been messing up our feeders. There's our Rocky, there's our Axel. I'm not going to tell my wife we used a dog to track a baboon. No, what a champ, eh? This little guy is about two years old. Um, this is his first animal he tracked. He did a brilliant job. I just showed him two little drops of blood and he took off. Didn't know what it was, but he was after it. Ran his little legs short. He caught up to the baboon, did an awesome job, let us know where it was, he bayed, fought with it a bit, and then he went quiet, and that's when Axel rocked up there, the old man, and he helped us out, he kept the track the whole way, and Rocky kept following, but the lack of confidence, he just kept turning and, and coming back, and showing us everywhere where the, where the blood was, 
and eventually we caught up to him. Both dogs weren't barking. You know that famous saying is not dead until you're standing on it? Well, I was about to stand on it with the dogs and, and you know, give the dogs a good pat for a good job. And the big man jumped up, looked at me and took off running. So I managed to drop the phone, pick up the rifle and place a perfect shot and roll his ass over. And with that, the dogs did the rest and caught him and, and stopped him right there. So a super morning of training for these two guys. They're going to be excellent tracking dogs with a bit more experience. Hopefully we don't let them track too much because then it means I'm not shooting too great. But it's always handy guys having a little dog like this. If you're a professional hunter, you better have a backup plan for that wounded animal. They just put enough pressure on them to slow them down for you to catch up through this thick, thick terrain. So great job boys! Guys, this is what a big baboon looks like. Almost a spell out here. Help the dogs and I get to retrieve this one. There's some meat for them for the evening for their bra place. Cheers.